Okay, I've got the epoxy mixed up, and um, you guys can see I've got my former set up. Again, I'll space this out looking at my dimensions. This will be my top piece, and then we'll adjust the uh, center spacer, which is 5 sixteenths of an inch wide or thick. These are uh, one fourth of an inch and we'll have a gap of one fourth for the uh, winding area for both. That's how simple the uh, design was back in the day. Let me get a little epoxy placed here. I think that's close enough. And let me do the third one now. And you'll see the grooves I cut in the spacers to allow the uh, magnet wire to go from the uh, bottom coil up to the uh, top itself. Let me just double check myself. The epoxy I'm using has got like a 15 minute working time. So I've got plenty of uh, a wide enough window to do what I need. Okay, I'm satisfied with uh, those results. We'll let the epoxy uh, dry for about four hours. And again, you can see I've already kind of beveled this edge off over here to the left. And uh, you can see my uh, set screw there for the uh, coil winder. And I'll go ahead and cut my uh, dowel back over somewhere in this area. I need to place a uh, magnet here for my uh, turns counter. So I'll do that next. I'll be using a 38 AWG. I'll spend more time on that in just a bit. I'll use an online calculator to uh, get me somewhat close to the uh, 19 millihenries of inductance that I'm looking for. And both ends will be uh, cut flush uh, once we're done. You guys can see the setup for the winder. I'll be adjusting the uh, winding start and end points for each window. And then my uh, magnet will be placed uh, somewhere in this direction right here. I'll probably just use this same uh, setup that I have here, the block. You guys can see I've got the uh, one fourth inch uh, center dowel cut now lengthwise to allow enough room for my magnet so we can capture the uh, number of turns. All right, let's check the uh, coil out. I'm hoping it's uh, north of uh, 19 millihenries. You can see our DC resistance at uh, 135 and 23 millihenries. So let me just manually unwind a number of turns. And I added a few turns in the beginning. You guys didn't see that. My uh, counter didn't kick off immediately. So I probably had a, maybe 30, 40 turns before my uh, counter took off. So I'm probably nearing 1,900 turns would be my guess. I'll be back with an update here in just a minute. 152. 
140. Okay, I took off 150 windings. I may have got more on there in the beginning before my counter picked up. And again, the accuracy of the coil as well can uh, influence that. So that's pretty close to my 18.9 to 19. I'm going to call that good. We'll retest it. Let me uh, cut the lead back. I realized I brought the start and the end up in the same slit, so um, I just put me a mark here, a green dot, and represent the uh, end winding, the most outer winding, and the start on this end. That way, when I hook the transformer back up, I can make sure that I've got the uh, polarity correct. 